so foul and fair a day I have not seen. My name is Kevin, I am from Queensland, and I'm here to help. Politics is about power. It is about the power of the state. Our responsibility in this parliament is how that power is used. Whether it is used for the benefit of the few or the many. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, unsex me here and fill me from the crown to the toe, top full of direst cruelty. Make thick my blood, stop up the access and passage to remorse that no visitings of nature shake my fell curse. I was elected by the people of Australia to do a job. I was not elected by the factional leaders of the Labour Party to do a job, though they may be seeking to do a job on me. Come, thick nights, and pour thee in the stunnest smoke of hell that my keen knife see, not the wound it makes. I'm truly honoured to lead this country which I love. I ask my colleagues to make a leadership change because I believe a good government was losing its way. Today I seek a mandate for the Australian people to move Australia forward. The Prime Minister wants to move forward because the recent past is so littered with her own failures. I will not be lectured about sexism and misogyny by this man. I will not. And the government will not be lectured about sexism and misogyny by this man. Not now, not ever. If the Leader of the Opposition wants to know what sexism and misogyny looks like in modern Australia, he doesn't need a motion in the House of Representatives. He needs a mirror. That's what he needs. Something my mum taught me years and years and years ago is that life's too short for a great bucket load of anger and resentment and hatred and things like that. Is this a dagger I see before me? The handle towards my hand? Come, let me clutch thee. Oh, I have thee not yet, I see thee still. Oh, Art thou not fatal vision sensible to feeling as to sight? Or art thou but a dagger of the mind? A false creation proceeding from a heat oppressed brain. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd have thought the old man had so much blood in him? We have but scotched the snake, not killed it. Should remain close to it and be herself, whilst our poor malice remains in danger of her former tomb. God will not lie down and die. I think leadership is knowing what you want to achieve and then purposefully and sensibly taking steps to achieve it. Re remembering always that you've got to bring the people with you if you're thinking to be a political leader. Now does he feel the secret murders sticking to his hands. Those he commands move only in command, there's nothing in love. Now does he feel his title hanging loose about him like a giant's robe upon a dwarfish thief. I will not yield to kiss the ground before young Malcolm's feet, and to be baited with the rabble's curse, though Wentworth would become to Warringah. Before my body, I throw my warlike shield. Lay on, Malcolm. Well, oh, shit happens sometimes, doesn't it? I don't find myself in moral turmoil. I'm not given to turmoil of any kind. The only reason to be in politics is public service. There's no other reason. Frankly, if that's the best job you can get in terms of money, that's too bad. Because frankly, it's not well paid. Everyone knows that. So for most people, it's a big sacrifice. This is a very tough business, politics. We shall not spend a large expense of time before we reckon with your several loves and make us even with you. My members and ministers, henceforth be innovative, the first that ever Australia in such an honour named. So thanks to all at once and to each one whom we invite to see me crowned in Canberra. When politicians offer you something for nothing, or something that seems too good to be true, it's always worthwhile taking a careful second look. <laughs>